get the menu here. Um, we're gonna start trying to do um, online assignments and and classwork together. Um, it's the first time I ever had to do it, so forgive me if it's I'm a little awkward. You know, I'm not really a YouTuber, right? So, um, but we're gonna give it a try, right? So I'm gonna try to have daily lessons so that you can come on here and um, they might have an assignment or it might be a video or it might be something like going to brain pop and and logging in watching the video and then answering the questions we're going to try to keep it mostly science but you know uh we might have to venture into other things such as like reading and math and things like that um but we're going to see what's going to happen because it's still kind of new we're not 100 percent how we're going to get it to work anyways <clears throat> so um i miss you guys i hope everything's going okay if there's any problems you can message me at the bottom and i can i can go ahead and try and message you back or if anything, you can um, you can actually, <laughs> sorry, my cat just jumped on the table. So that's gonna be a thing. We are working from home, so, you know, a lot of distractions. Anyways, if any mess, any questions, go ahead and put it at the bottom and I'll try to type out an answer or if anything, I can communicate to you in a different way using the program we have. Um, uh, so it's gonna be a daily thing where we're gonna be sending assignments. So make sure that every day you log in to see what assignments, if there's any, or video to watch it. Now, um, and if I give you an assignment, make sure you go ahead and name, put your name and date on it, so that later on, in case the principal asks for grades, I'll have grades for you. So make sure that anything that I give you, go ahead and put your name and date on it, and, and just make sure you have it so that we have proof that you're doing great. Um, okay, anyway, so being what's going on right now, I guess, since we're doing science, my first thing would be that if you have any questions regarding the COVID-19 virus, uh, I know we did have a little conversation about that. We talked about that when we were still in school, but if you have any more questions or anything that you've been thinking about, go ahead and put it at the bottom and I'll, I'll answer them to you as best as I can. I'm not a doctor, but you know I can, I can try my best to alleviate any fears that you might have or anything like that. Um, so basically the two big things is that we wanna keep our distance um and to make sure we're washing hands and you might think that's kind of silly but it's actually very important and let me explain why so there are germs all around us just like there's air and some of these germs actually float in the air now the biggest protector we have from these germs is our skin our skin is our biggest organ and it's actually used to help us protect us because if a little virus were to go inside our blood then that's really bad it can get we can get sick and that's how we get sick Whenever you got a cold or a flu or something like that, it's some little germ that was able to go, and they're so small you can't see them, they're able to get into your nose or your mouth or your ear. And, and your skin can protect you on the outside, but on the inside, no, it can't protect you. If a little germ was to you know, go into your mouth and it gets inside there, then, well, you know, that's when you can get sick. So when they talk about keeping your distance, that's very good because when people talk, sometimes they tend to spit. And that spit has the germ in it, and it gets into your eye, or your ear, or your mouth. That's how you get sick. So that's why they're telling you to stay six feet away. Really, it's just three feet, the extra three feet. We're doubling it because we want to make sure that people stay far away. Now, this is a foot about. So we're talking about two, three feet. So this is about three feet. So we want to double that. Um, what might help you out is think about uh, a, a grown person, like maybe your mom, your dad, or me. I'm, I'm like 5'8", so maybe a little bit more is six feet. The thing about them is if you're standing somewhere, there should be a person between you, like laying flat on the floor. So in your mind, you could be like, is that person too close to me? Well, pretend this guy is laying on the floor and you should be at the head and the other person should be at the feet, right? Like think about it that way, like a six foot person, you know, like, like a tall person, right? Um, that's one of the main things is keeping your distance because if they're talking or they sneeze, a little bit of spit comes out of your mouth, you don't want that to go inside of you because then you can get sick, okay? Um, uh, the next thing is washing your hands, and that's what our lesson is going to be today. Um, this week and next week, we're going to be talking about animals and how animals live and different things about animals. So that's going to be really fun. Um, but for our first lesson, let's go ahead and talk about why it's important to wash your hands, okay? So when you wash your hands, there's actually like um, a lot of soaps actually created from synthetic or actual uh, fats, from animal fats. Um, and this fat is actually so, what it does is it makes water slippery. So by using soap, it makes the water so slippery that things that are on your hand can come off. 
And that's why we want to make sure that we're washing our hands correctly. So here's our first science experiment today, okay? To make sure we're washing our hands correctly. Now, this is what you can do. Now, if you don't have this kind of stuff, that's okay. You don't have to do it. But if you can, make sure you ask your mom and dad for permission first. But here's the science experiment for how, learning how to wash your hands. Now, it's very important that you get all the parts of your hands, even the weird little parts that you don't even think about. Oh, look, I'm like, I don't even think about washing this part. I just, Usually you go wash your hands, you put some soap and go, that, and I'm done. But just going like this, you didn't get that side or that side or in your fingers. So it's important that when you wash your hands, you try to get everything out. Here's the experiment. Let's give it a try, and, and I'm going to show you how it works. Now, I'm going to do it with gloves. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these gloves on. Okay? And you have gloves at home. You can try this at home. If not, you can, you can just get some paint if you have paint. If you don't have that, you know, figure something out, you know. If not, it's okay. I'm, I'm going to do it for you, right? So I'm going to put these gloves on. And we're going to pretend that my hands, all this white stuff, are germs, blah, you know. So what I want to do is I want to make sure I don't see any white. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash my hands how you're supposed to. I'm going to pretend this is the soap. We're going to make sure the soap goes everywhere, right? So it's a bit messy. Oh, oh see. That's why you're supposed to do this beforehand, my guy. All right, it's got a little thing here. I'm going to take it off. Okay. Ugh. Gross. Um, all right. So the point of this is that we want to make sure that there's no germs on my hand. We need to clean it all off. Look, I already got some orange on there. So this is going to be my soap. I want to make sure my hands get completely full of this color. Once it's full of this color and there's no spot left over, then I know that I've gotten every little germ that's anywhere I, I've gotten it, okay? You can try this home with your own paint. Um, I would do it over a sink. I don't have a sink here because I'm teaching, so I'm just going to do it here. But if you have a sink, go ahead and do it. Go ahead and do it over the sink with your mom and dad's permission first. Just get a little bit of paint, any kind of paint you can find. Put a little bit in your hands and see if you can get every bit off your hands. I'm going to show you how we do that. So here's some paint. Here's my, my soap. Check it out. Nice, right? Mm, it smells like paint. So first, we're going to do the front parts of our hands. Okay? So you rub your front parts of your hands. And look, this thumb didn't get any, right? So we're going to have to keep on going, okay? So let's do the top parts now. Make sure you do the top parts of your hands. Okay. Top parts of the hands, they're pretty good. But guess what? My fingers don't have any, right? So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and put my fingers in between each other, go up and down. And then look, this one didn't get any. So I'm going to move it here and do it like that. Up and down and across, okay? Now I've got my fingers done, okay? Now I'm going to go over here, this is a weird one, and you're going to go like this, clean, 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 clean. And then right here, clean, 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 get all that in, okay? Now I've gone pretty much everywhere, right? Look, you notice the top parts in, so maybe I need to go and make sure I get those top parts too, okay? The next part is a lot of times you're going to get some on the tips of your fingers, you're gonna, you're gonna, it's going to be dry. So you need to go like this with the tips of your fingers. And then you want to make sure you do the wrists. Okay. Now, if you look, I didn't do too good right here. Look, my thumb is still not clean all the way. So that's what makes, that's going to mean something I need to make sure that I'm getting my thumbs. Okay. But if you did it right, you should be completely of the, the color. There should be no white spots. Anytime you see a white spot, is that one? I don't know. Does that look like one? That looks like one, huh? Anytime, it might just be the shine of it. Because anytime you see a white spot, that means that's the place you didn't get. Now, so that's how we, we make sure that we get everything clean. Look, another white spot. See, I didn't do it right. So I got I to gotta practice washing my own hands. So remember, first one, you're going to do the insides of your hands. Rub, rub, rub. Make sure you're not just rubbing like this. Some people go like this, they don't get their fingers, right? Rub, rub, rub. Okay? Then you can do the top parts of your hands. Rub the top part. Rub the top part. Okay? Then you're going to do the, so we did that, that, the fingers. You're going to go up and down the fingers and up and down the fingers. This one goes up and down. This one goes up and down. Then switch the fingers. This one goes up and down. This one goes up and down. Okay? Then you go over here, like in like a weird handshake, like bam. Get this side. Switch it. Get this side. So this one's, this one, this hand, my left hand is going to be my right hand. My right hand, this is the left hand. And then you do the wrists. 
It has to be done for 20 seconds. But what people do is they do that little thing, but the whole time they're singing their favorite song. Pro tip. You don't want to sing your ABCs. That's fine. Get you a timer and time how long it takes to do 20 seconds of your favorite song. Okay? Any song you want. It could be the SpongeBob song. It could be, you know, any rapping song you like. Whatever. Any song. Like, I can do my favorite cartoon theme song. I can be like, fighting evil by moonlight. Winning love by daylight, any song you want. You can do the ABC song or the Happy Birthday song, but you can find your favorite song and you could do that. Go find your favorite song and see how much of that song is the first 20 seconds. And once you have that 20 seconds, when you go to rush them, you could be like, SpongeBob SquarePants, and you can sing your song, any song you want in your head. You probably don't want to go out in public start doing that, right? But yeah. And that's how we wash our hands, right? Make sure it's already drying up and starting to look all weird and stuff. So, but it was all orangey. Now it's kind of like drying up. So. But anyways, that's how you wash hands. Now, let's say you're using gloves. And even doctors got to practice this too. How to take off your gloves. If I go and I, uh, let's say I, I, this is germs now, right? And I go and I touch my skin, I completely wasted the reason for using gloves. So there's a specific way how you take off gloves. One hand goes and pinches it here. Because you don't want to go like this. If I go like this, I ruined it. I've just got germs all here. You got to pinch it, pick it up, take it off. Now, this hand is clean, so I don't want to use this hand, right? So then I go on the edge <laughs> and I take it off here, okay? So the whole point is that you're trying to make sure that you go and you take off both without having to retouch that nasty stuff. So I take off gloves, right? Look, you got some paint on me. Anyways, that was a pretty cool first lesson. Um, go ahead and try it home with parents' permission, of course. And um, oh, another thing. So. After every lesson, I'm going to have a visual sticker. Now, I can't give you any kind of treasure box or any stickers. Like, it's like, here, here's a sticker. Boop. And it's like, oh, well, that doesn't help. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm calling this a visual sticker. So every time we have, like, a little meeting here, if you get to the end of the video, you get to the end of the experiment, your prize will be a visual sticker. And what a visual sticker is, is I'm going to bring out something. You know, kind of like show and tell when you're in kindergarten. I'm going to bring out something special, and you're not going to see it until you get to the end of the video. So if you made it to the end of the video, you didn't go and fall asleep and while I was talking, and you paid attention to the end of the video, you get the visual sticker. Today's visual sticker is Super Mario, okay? So this is a Super Mario Amiibo. Um, it's from a video game from a long time ago, right? Super Mario Bros., but it's been around forever, you know? I played him when I was, I played his Nintendo game back in like when I was like five years old. And it's still around, so, you know, it, it you know. He's cool. Now, this is an amiibo, so this is like a cool Mario toy, right? But he's not your uh, visual sticker. Because my favorite guy is this guy, Bowser. Roar! So that's your visual sticker. For making it this long, I give you I give you this trophy so you can look at it. Okay? That's for you. All right? Thank you for watching the first um distance learning video hopefully you got something out of it you know but a little bit about washing your hands and how it's very important that we do we don't want to you know get some kind of germ in our hands and we touch our eye or ear or nose and then you know you get sick you know most part guys try to keep living the way you're doing right now just kind of do it at home right just kind of spend some time with your mom and dad they're working kind of give them a break you know and then when they're kind of off work you know you know help them out some people are working at home some people can't it's a crazy time. I didn't think I was going to have to teach at home, but, you know, here we are, right? Anyways, um, any questions, put it in the comments below, and um, I'll see you next time, right? All right, see you guys. Peace.